Hi, this is TJ DeSalvo of the Anxiety Shme Anxiety blog, and uh, it's July, obviously, and it means it's summer, and that means it's hot and humid and miserable. I don't do well with heat, as I'm sure I've mentioned here before. A lot of people, the heat doesn't bother them. For me, it's a very visceral, physical reaction, uh, and I it makes me anxious because because it's such a visceral reaction and then it's like i can't it's very hard to function and it's also very hard to like talk to people about that because a lot of people are like oh they just don't know or like or they don't understand how much it affects me um and in the past i, I guess i would be more like hesitant to like bring that up and like tell people like hey i'm struggling but i don't know i guess just with whatever you know everything that's going on in the world and it's like life is too short to keep quiet and life is too short to not speak up when you need something or when you need accommodations assistance help whatever so in a way like i hate the heat I always do, but it, it, in a weird way, it's making me feel more comfortable speaking up and saying, hey, I'm not okay right now. Hey, like, I need more help. And like, hey, I'm not going to be on 100% because I very rarely am when in the middle of summer, it's just not a thing for me. Um, and I think people should just be more comfortable admitting that, um, regardless of, you know, whether it's the heat or whatever. Um, so I guess, you know, silver lining to the cloud, I suppose. I do wish it was cooler, but I mean, at least I get something good out of it.